to be homing each one of these cylinders getting ready for the pistons to go in. Uh, I just sewed it down to keep it from rusting. I'm gonna do the other side too. It's pretty nasty. It's all flash rusting. But it'll be alright since I get it honed out. Spray some in there to this here keep it from rusting. Plus, it you read the home with it help out a lot. And then I clean the pigeons up. That's how I wind up getting hands messed up. Still gotta do the grooves. Want more cleaning on them. Probably two more cleanings and then they'll be ready to go. I sprayed some uh, transmission fluid on it with some acetone on it to keep it from rusting. It actually does pretty good. They'll go another bath after I get more of this cleaned off. Some of them came out real good. Like that one there come out real good. And there you got a little bit left. So after I get through with that, then I'll soak them in some deep fuel again. And then uh, I'll get a, a bath of nothing but motor oil and soak them in the motor oil. Polish the crank today. Don't look like it. It actually turned out pretty decent. I'm gonna spray some of that. Keep it resting this. You don't want the, the journals to rust after you've done all the cleaning and stuff like that. I'm just now getting back in the groove a little bit. Just that should be alright. That's so I'll clean it again before I assemble it up. Plus I'll cover it up and put it where it won't get wet. Clean all my boats. I got the boats. Except for a couple of them that didn't come completely clean. But I'll hit them with some memory cloth and uh, clean them again. Fish rods come clean. I still go re soak them, clean them for the second time. And then all this be putting a, some oil before I put it back together. Make sure all the water and stuff drop up. My dip stick is pretty clean. I just gotta clean it again. I gotta soak this and get the old dry rotted belt off there. And uh, Mopar minivans, Mustangs, they use my, use my cleaner for a change. <laughs> vinegar. So I'll soak all that in vinegar there along with that. And then my rod cap, my main cap. They'll go through another cleaning. Like this, this will go an another cleaning too. This motor was so gummed up, uh, it's hard to really tell what oil was used in that motor, but I can tell you, that car never left town. It was used to go to town and back. And then over the 30 years it was sitting that's what causes the gum up short trips. Like I said, I probably could have could have thrown an oil pump in this thing and a set of heads on this motor and probably drove it around here for a long time. But I didn't want to take a chance to drive it to Missouri to take it down the track. I still got to clean that up. Because then it would have came apart. There's my 
Time and chain cover and diesel fuel. It's soaking. Getting all the gooky off of it. And after that gets done, and I find a set of heads, then uh, I start uh, putting it together. I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom end of the motor put together, and then I'll, as soon as I find my heads, and I'll get, uh, go ahead and put the heads on, and then uh, hopefully by then I'll have a get it in the car then. Kind of you just gotta take one for a team and keep on moving. So, check us out on the next one.